That's how you know I'm serious about my sweet potatoes. We are jamming the van, love music, and we definitely eat food. So we put the two together and voila, band appetit. But you can read subtitles like a pro. My name is Austin Weber, and today we're going to be making uh, my favorite breakfast. Hala French toast. I might make some sweet potatoes and some uh, some eggs to go along with it. Using the internet for French. Just a normal pan, and you're gonna need uh, another pan also, or a big old skillet. Start with the sweet potatoes. So right now, what we're gonna do is just chop up the sweet potato real nice. This takes a little while to cook because we're gonna make big old chunks. I'm gonna make it about this size, all right? These will probably take, you know, 20, 25 minutes to cook through. And for the sweet potatoes, you just wanna uh, use some, some olive oil. Now you wanna take your bread knife and your hollow. I like about just maybe like a half inch a thick, maybe Nothing three quarters of an inch thick. For my hollow. And then the end. That's for you. You want to put the, the little French toast pieces in there. They're going to stay in there or they're just going to hang out. All right, these have been soaking for a few minutes. You just want to pick them up with your fingies and turn them over just like so. Let's check back into the potatoes. Huh, looks like they're doing pretty well. Check that out. You should be able to cut through the whole potato pretty easily. Look at that. Pretty easy. Cut through the whole potato. That's how you know that they're almost done steaming. You want to turn up the heat a little bit. So now we're on. Now we're on pretty high heat, and you're just gonna want to sear them. You know, get the get all the surfaces nice and crispy. And ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to this spatula, um, a dear friend of mine. Get a nice little piece of butter. But you want it at a nice low medium heat. And you want to take these little French toast pieces, pick it up, and you just. Oh yeah. See, that's that good stuff. And sometimes the bread soaks up all the cinnamon, so you can take your cinnamon and do a little refresh, do a little cinnamon refresh. As the sweet potatoes, now they're like really cooking. You can see they're starting to char. I like get a nice char on my sweet potatoes. I like them crispy on the outside, so I try to burn them a little bit. And so we have these, you can sort of flip them around, do a little fancy flip thing. Whoa, check that out. That's how you know I'm serious about my sweet potatoes. We're gonna return to the French toast. These look like they're almost ready. You can sort of check the bottom. Looks ready to go for me. Oh, look at that. This one, that's exactly how you want it. So now the potatoes are ready, and we got some French toast that's ready. So we're gonna scoop up this French toast. Uh, look at that. Come on, look at that, folks. And here, this is just about ready, so we're gonna take some of that good stuff, and put it on the plate, just like so. See how they're, they're sort of nice and crispy. And over here, we just have a little bit of a, an egg scramble going. Chopped up some broccoli and onions. Take some eggs, mix them up real good. Pour them over the... We've uh, scrambled the eggs with some broccoli, some onions, a little bit of cheese. We're just gonna dole out some portions here. Oh yeah, check that out. That's real good. Voila! We have a very nice little breakfast for two. I, I have some 100% pure Vermont maple syrup. The grade A pure maple syrup, very important. Here we go, it's breakfast. Get a little bit of that and a little bit of this.